Welcome to the low power module. In this module, we're going to talk about low power modes of the STM32 GZO. So in this module, we're going to do a lab which will put the microcontroller in a low power mode, which is called stop one mode, and wake up with the RTC, so which is the real time clock that is configured to wake up the STM32 every five seconds. So when the STM32 wakes up, we're going to turn the LED on for one second and then go back to a stop mode. We also have the user button, so the I.O. that is connected to user, user button is configured as external interrupt, and we'll have the capability of waking up the SM32 from stop mode. The SM32 G0 devices feature flex power control, which increase flexibility in power mode management and further reduces the overall application consumption. Run mode can support a system clock running up to 64 MHz with only 100 microampere MHz. At 60 MHz, the consumption is even lower, 93 microampere MHz. The SM32 G0 devices support seven main low power modes, low power run, sleep, low power sleep, stop zero, stop one, standby and shutdown modes. Each mode can be configured in many ways providing several additional submodes. In addition, the SM32 G0 devices support a battery backup domain called VBAT. So the high flexibility in power management provides both high performance with a core mark score equal at 142, together with an outstanding power efficiency. The SM32 G0 devices feature two stop modes, stop zero and stop one which are the lowest power modes with full retention and only two microseconds wake up time to run mode at 60 MHz. The contents of SRAM and peripherals registers are preserved in stop modes. All high-end clocks are stopped. The 32 kHz external oscillator and the 32 kHz internal oscillator can be enabled and several peripherals can be active and wake up from stop mode. The voltage regulator is configured is main regulator mode in stop zero mode. So all the clocks in V core domain are stopped in this mode. The PLL, the HSI 16 and the HSC oscillators are disabled. The RTC clocked by the internal or external low speed oscillator can remain active. The BOR, so the Brunner reset is always enabled. Most of the peripherals clocks are gated off but several peripherals are still functional in stop zero mode. Now let's talk about the stop one mode. So the stop one mode is the mode we're going to use during our lab. So the stop one mode is very similar to the stop zero mode that we saw just before, except that the power figures are much lower as the main regulator is stopped and replaced by low power regulator. So the stop one mode consumption without RTC is 1.3 microamp typical at 3 volts with flash not powered and RTC disabled. The wake up time is 5 microseconds with HSI 16 MHz as system clock at wake up, regulator in mode 1 or 2. The flash memory as well as the HSI 16 are configurable. They can be stopped or kept enabled. So because we're going to use the RTC to wake up the microcontroller, so I'm going to give you a quick overview about the RTC, so the real-time clock. So the RTC peripheral features an ultra low power calendar with alarms, which run in all the low power modes. Additionally, when it is clocked by the low power external oscillator, the LSC, at 32 kHz, the RTC is functional even if the main power is off. So when VBAT domain is supplied by a backup a battery on VBAT. The RTC consumes only 300 nanoamp at 1.8 volts, including the LSC power consumption. The hardware calendar is provided by BCD format in a calendar, which reduces the software load, particularly when the date and time must be displayed. The backup registers and temper detection belong to the temp peripheral. Okay, so now it's time for the lab, so the low power lab. So first of all, we're going to close Kyle Microvision 5. And from STM52 Cubemix, we're going to open the EXTI project that we previously created. And we're going to rename it as low power. 
So I'm going to exit from kind macrovision 5. In stm 2 cubemx I'm going to rename the project to low power. The first step will be to enable the LSC, which is the low speed external clock. So on the board, on the nuclear board, you have a 32 kilo crystal that is connected to PC14 and PC15. So we're going to use this, you know, to clock the RTC. So now in stm 2 cubemx in the pinout and configuration tab, we're going to expand the RCC, which is located in the system core. And we're going to choose the crystal ceramic resonator for LSC clock. So this will enable, you know, on your pinout, the pin uh, PC14 and PC15. So in stm 2 cubemx in the pinout and configuration tab, I'm going to open or expand system core in RCC, for LSC, I'm going to select Crystal and Ceramic Resonator. So now, on my pinout, PC14 and PC15 have been configured with alternate functions OSC32, in and out. The next step will be to enable and configure the RTC. So in the pinout and configuration tab, under timers, we're going to expand RTC, located here. Now, we're going to activate the clock source. So by clicking activate clock source and we're going to select internal wake up for wake up mode. Under timers, I'm going to select RTC. I'm going to click on activate clock source. And for the wake up, I'm going to select internal wake up. Now we're going to choose the RTC clock source. So in the clock configuration tab, we're going to select LSC as input for the RTC, as you can see here. So in the clock configuration tab, I'm going to select LSC to clock the RTC clock. Now we're going to configure the RTC. So the wake up counter calculation is as follow. So we want a wake up time to be five seconds. So the wake up counter will be programmed to 10,246. So the calculation is as below. So with RTC clock set to RTC divided by 16, the wake up time base will be RTC prescaler divided by LSE. So this means 16 divided by 32 kilohertz, which is equivalent to 0.488 milliseconds. So the wake up time equal wake up time base multiplied by wake up counter equals 0.488 milliseconds multiplied by the wake up counter. So the wake up counter equals 5 seconds divided by 0 0.488 milliseconds. So this is 10,246. Now we're going to configure the RTC in CubeMX. So in the pinout configuration tab, we're going to click on RTC. And for the parameter settings of the RTC in the configuration settings, we're going to input the following information. So for the wake up clock, we're going to enter RTC clock divided by 16. And for the wake up counter, 10,246 as we calculated the slide before. Okay, I'm going to pin out configuration tab, going back to the RTC. In the configuration you know, uh, settings, I'm going to go to the parameter settings. I'm going to enter RTC clock divided by 16. And here, 10,246. Now we're going to enable the interrupts. So first, in the configuration tab, in the NVIC settings, we're going to enable the interrupt for the RTC. And then, in the system view, we're going to click on NVIC. And we're going to make sure that the RTC and the XTI 4215 are enabled, as shown here. So I'm going to go to NVIC settings enable the RTC interrupt. Now in the system view, I'm going to go to the NVIC and make sure that both the RTC and the XTI line 4 to 15 are enabled. We can now generate the code. And once the window code generation is visible, we can open the project. Okay, I'm going to generate the code. And now I'm going to open the project um, by clicking on open project.
Now we're going to add some code. So first in main.c, in the user code while section, so in the while loop, we're going to first have three lines of code for the run mode. So for one second, we're going to turn on the LED. After that, we enter the stop mode. And when we wake up from the stop mode, we need to reconfigure the clocks. So the code to add is also in the description of the video that you can find in the description of this video or in the comments. I'm going to add the code in my main.c in the while loop right here. I'm adding the code. So this code is located in the description of the video. So you can copy and paste it in the user code begin while section. So in the previous STM32 CubeMX version, so we were missing one clock to be enabled so that you know the RTC code will work properly. So basically we have to verify that this clock, which is this in red right there, the RTC APB clock, is enabled in the function HAL underscore RTC underscore MSP init. So which is located in this file, which is the stm 2 g 0 xxx underscore HAL underscore msp.c. Let's verify that the clock has been enabled. So this is located in this file right here. So the stm 2 g 0 xxx underscore HAL underscore msp.c. I'm going to scroll down and check that in the HAL underscore RTC underscore MSP in it, the clock RTC APB is enabled and it is enabled. So if not, please add it. Same thing. I added, you know, the code to be added in the description if needed. So please save now all the files and we're going to build the code. Remember with the icon right here or F7. And once the code is built, this time we're not going to click on enter debug session, but we're going just to load the code. So to load the code, it's uh, F8, or there is, you know, an icon like this. So this is the load icon. So why? Because we're losing low power modes. And if we were entering a debug session and running from the debug session, we would lose the communication with the debugger when the micro enters in low power mode. So we're just going to load the code. Once the code is loaded, we're going to press on the reset button on the board and make sure that the code is following, you know, the spec that we wanted, which is running for one second. So which is run mode for one second, stop mode for five seconds and wake up with RTC. And during the time the micro is in stop mode, we can press the user button and wake it up from stop mode. So now I'm going to build the code. So once the code is built, so zero error, zero warning, I can now load the code. So you're going to load the code using a download. So you are using this load button right here. So now the code is loaded. I can now press on the reset button on my nuclear board and make sure that the, uh, the application code is running as expected. So for one second, the LED is on, so this is run mode. And then for five seconds, the LED is off. So this is the stop mode. And then we wake up with the RTC after five seconds. And during the time the microcontroller in his stop mode, if I press on the user button, I will wake up the microcontroller directly and the light will be on.